Do you guys remember what is the formula to find the area of the triangle given its three coordinate points? Well, if not, I think it's a good time to go down the memory lane and recollect it because that is exactly what we'd be using to solve the day eight of the mini code challenge. And the question for today is check if it's a straight line. So we are given an array of coordinates. Each coordinate will have uh, X and Y component and these are plotted in the XY plane. So for example, these are the coordinates that we are given. When these are plotted, these form a straight line in the XY plane. So if you notice this example, the coordinates are equidistant. That is the difference between the X and Y component is one and one, and it is same throughout. But that might not be the case if say this coordinate is missing. So that is something which will not work in every case. So as mentioned earlier, we will be using the area of the triangle to find, to solve this problem rather. So how would we use that to solve this, you ask? So if you recollect, this is the formula to find the area of the triangle given its three coordinate sides. Now let's assume uh, there's one here. So let's see, let's put a tab. So this is one side and this is B and let's say this is C. So let, let's assume that there is a line here so these are sides of a triangle a b and c so this forms a triangle so the the area of this is yeah it, it, it's it's something which is not zero now let's assume that this is these are the three coordinates rather and the area of this would be zero because it is one straight line right so this is the property which we'll be using to solve this problem let's define the variable n which has the number of coordinates let's iterate through all of the coordinates let's start with 0 n minus 3 I'm doing n minus 3 because to get rid of uh, the array index out of bond exception because we need three coordinates at a time right and let's let's see that area of i typo right so let's say that there is a method which finds the area of the triangle and that would say accept x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so which in our case is let's define these as well in c1 integer array c1 equals coordinates of i let's do a copy paste i plus 1 i plus 2 let's rename this to c1 c2 c3 right so we have three coordinates and we would pass these c1 of 1 so this is our x1 y1 let's rename this so we have defined the x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 for the area of the triangle now once we call this method which returns an area we have to check if the area is not equal to zero if that is the case then we return false right because even if one of the three even if one of the area of the three coordinates is not zero, then it's not a straight line. So the condition is all the coordinates have, have to lie on the same straight line. So even if one of them doesn't have an area of zero, that means that it's not a straight line. So this is it. And we just have to return true if the area of all the three coordinates that we are considering at a time is zero. Now let's write this method, area of triangle. Which would ac accept x1, y1, and y1. Let me do a copy paste. y1. 
to next to and we would return this all right so this should return the area for us i think this has to be 0 f because of float 0 checks if it's 0, 0, 0.0 then the integer 0 check will not work let's uh, remove this and let's try to submit if that works all right so that is the solution for the day 8 of the Melit code challenge thank you for watching